Hello, my precious souls. Let's cleanse your energy. Cleanse mine as well. I have been out in the public, so I definitely need to cleanse my energy. Cleanse my hands. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. I hope that you know you were loved, you are protected, and you are worthy of nothing but the grace. So, today is the day of Venus. So, that's the goddess of beauty, love, peace. She is the goddess who can calm down Mars. Mars is represented by... Aries and um and zodiacs is represented by Aries, but not only that, that is the god of war. That's Mars, war, chaos, you know, hell, the fiery, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, okay. So, um, you guys today. If you guys would like to help with the world peace and, you know, to help against the the war that is going on, you guys, please light a white and pink candle. Meditate. Um, even if you don't know how to meditate, you know, light the candles and simply ask for world peace. And let's show the world what good magic can do. Okay. Um, not all magic is bad and it's dark. You can literally, if you are lighting a candle and you have something on your mind that's like what you're really thinking of, that is like a, a universal law. That is called the law of attraction. So you're attracting it by adding the flame to it. That's just like with my protection candle that I have. Well, I just made it go out. But with my protection candle, I have this with the intentions of being protected anytime that I use it. Anytime that I pray over it, you know, it needing to do like some protection work, then I'm going to use this candle for sure. So... And if you can see, I have my herbs in it, so there's nothing, you know, big to it. You don't necessarily have to incorporate the herbs, but herbs are something that you can use for that. Um, be careful not to put too many herbs in there because, oh, these are the, the berries. Okay. Look at that. These are also good for protection, for like protecting us, protecting, you know, the world, as I've been mentioning. You can obviously light those by themselves. I have star anise inside of my candle also. Um, this is a piece of the star anise and these burn by itself. I know you can't see it because it has black candle wax on it. But I definitely wanted to show you that. So if you guys have any of those herbs, then you can maybe drop one or two in there. Um, the day of Venus is representing love. Venus represents love. Um, that is Libra. With Libra, that's just like in the court. That's like balancing it out. So that's what makes today really potent and, you know, really special to actually do this. Um, I am not sure how to pronounce the name, but that is... The letters that you can carve into it. But this is the goddess. Aphrodite, Possibly. Not sure. 
guys go look it up you know do your own research know what it is that you're doing but, you know i definitely wanted to share that trip look i said share that trip okay share that tip is what i was meaning to say but look make a wish and enjoy its manifestations so this is literally what look consult an expert Contact someone with more expertise in this area. So even if you guys don't really understand what you're doing or, you know, how to meditate on this, I just split the deck on this. And this is crazy because I have been thinking, I even looked at like five videos of mermaids this morning. So if you guys are interested in checking out more of like what the mermaids mean and, you know, like the the connection that the sea creatures have to us let's see but i'm going to read it out of the book you're venturing into an area where other people could assist you by offering new ideas and information as well as benefits of their experience to attract the right expert to help you affirm this is a affirmation for you to say you know, just something to speak aloud. Um, a helpful, knowledgeable, experienced person with integrity is in my life right now. And this individual will help me with world peace or the ending wars, you know, to calm down, you know, this destruction, you know, whatever it is that you're you're wishing for pertaining to world peace, then it's like, OK, I got you. <laughs> both of them so this person comes to you easily and naturally without delay when this person appears know that it is divinely orchestrated do not hesitate or feel guilty about asking for help instead take notes and give thanks to the person and to heaven remember it is not a sign of weakness to ask for help many of earth's most wonderful intent inventions i'm sorry came from team effort so again like i said it says that here earth's most wonderful inventions and asking for help so if you guys are interested in you know we can go over this whole thing if you guys are interested um if not you can if you feel comfortable doing your own research on this then you can um or if you guys find someone else, you know, to help you, then, you know, let's please definitely do this. I'm going to try to keep this video short so that I can get it uploaded before it's too late and hope that we can all get this, you know, this message out. Um, by working with informed individuals, you can also develop a healthy habit of consulting with your celestial guides more constantly. And that's the number seven. I got the number say ah, the number seven right here. Goliath. The grave. The dead. Like, how can you slay this giant? Asking for help. How can we slay this giant? Um, the next card is make a wish. Let's see. Saying an affirmation prayer right now, which means stating your desire as if it were already true. And thank the heaven for reality. Fill it in your heart and belly and say that the dream is actually a reality. For example, thank you heaven for peace on earth. I am truly grateful for your continuous support. Now is a magical moment. Go into a quiet space, even if it's just for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine that your wish has come true. Fill it with your entire being and then express love. Oh, express thanks <laughs> for this gift and release it like a helium balloon that goes straight to heaven. So just like I said, just like I said, um, You will receive repetitive guidance in the form of feelings, thoughts, ideas, and a word, signs, visions, or dreams. It is important that you follow this guidance in order to bring this wish into physical form. 
And that is crazy to me because earlier, before I even figured out what Venus was, and I shit you not, I was looking up the planet alignment like three days ago, but I could never figure out what was going on. And so I was just like, okay, I know it's going to come to me. I know it's going to come to me. And it came to me today. It's Venus. And then I also thought earlier, um, what was it? Um, it was something like, you know, the white witches, how everyone says, oh, you're doing, you know, X, Y, and Z. As far as rituals, but then it's like, motherfucker, you light a candle to make your house smell good. Put some intentions into that shit. It's the same thing. When you're taking communion at church, you're drinking the blood, a blood sacrifice. You know, you're all a covenant at the end of the day. Any group is considered a covenant. So, or an occult, if you will. So, um, I don't know why that was necessary, but it was like, you know, just, just look at how far we've come with the, the good, with doing good. Um, the song that came to my mind was Beauty Is Her Name by Drew Hill. So if you guys are interested, you can also, you know, pray about beauty, love, peace. Like, you know, if you want to do each individual one, then you guys definitely should. Look, it says pay attention. Notice repetitive signs as an inner, as inner guidance. It is valuable information. Then the next is explore your options. Look at different opportunities. It is a good time to make change. So this is literally the planets are aligned for us to make this difference. There's no way like I know utopia is whatever to other people. But God damn, this is just too much. Break the fucking cycle. Break the cycle. Okay. The charge is right here. The charger is right there. Your personal powers increase as you give any father related issues to heaven. What is a father? A father is someone that is in authority. That's also a mermaid all over again, like I was saying. That puts me in the mind of Neptune. Neptune is Pisces. Yeah, and this is Pisces season. So do it once the sun goes down. Like once around that time. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. Again, with a mermaid. No, this is the mermaid and dolphin. But it's like, you know, the men are... The corporation in the corporations that are over the world, so we definitely need to fight against them. Um, let's see, let's get a word in the life purpose deck. Spirit God's ancestors are the highest source of life, highest light of all, the highest good of humanity. Whoa. Okay, I think I'm going to take these. Justice. I told you justice. I told you. You are protected. Brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. The whole fucking world at this time. Your life purpose fully supports you. Animals. Understanding animals and communicating with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as, as the animals are a part of your life's work. So again, the mermaids. Crystals. Your connection to crystals. Incorporate crystals. And then it was travel at the bottom. But I'm getting more so with the laptop. Like this is something that, you know, even if you guys are not really sure. And then look. If even if you guys aren't sure exactly, you know, what to do, like what affirmation to say, you know, whatever 
you know, just whatever it is that your heart desires, like I said, when you're lighting the candle, put your intention, you know, maybe sit down for maybe like five minutes, just sit there, close your eyes and just breathe. Just exist. Don't do anything else but exist for once in your lifetime. Your angels are going to support and guide you as well as protect you as your dreams become a reality. So that is going to help us. That is certainly going to help us all. Um, Russia, Ukraine, like it is just, and then China, Tijuana, like it's just a lot. It is a lot going on and we are definitely needing some help at this time. Um, let's get some angel numbers to see. Wait, where? Are, uh, let's get some angel numbers and then I'll go ahead and close off this message because like I said, I want to be sure that I get this video posted and I hope that it reach everyone that it's intended to. Look, it got weekend vibes. <laughs> Good times. Get cute, good, good times, party, live, laugh, love, and look, save the planet. I said tonight, I fucking said Wow. Wow. Save the planet, bro. Say, I just split the deck. Bro. <laughs> I didn't even get to say nothing yet. They're like, yes, yeah, go. It is a green, like it's green, like go, do it, do it. You like we are not asking you to fucking curse anyone. As a matter of fact, don't even think of anything bad. Just do it. Look, and then as I was shuffling, I fell out again. If you don't have a pink one, then maybe a violet one. Go to like Dollar Tree. Look, evolution. Yo, inner beauty. And I said Venus represents that. We're in Pisces season right now. So that's the dream state. That's the psychic abilities. This card. Look. Oh. 666. Six, six. Invite peace. And that card just wanted to flip over. Invite peace. Let's change the world together. It is so, it's just as simple as lighting a candle. You, this is called manifesting. Look. Good fortune, expansion, abundance, wisdom. This is going to help us. So if you hear or you see anyone else that's saying this, it is fucking true. I seen a post earlier and I was like, you know what? I was thinking about that. But then right below that was a post that was describing Venus. And I said, okay, that makes sense as to why I got that message. But at first I didn't get it. And so that's why I'm like shocked as fuck that these cards have fell out. And I'm so thankful. <sighs> I love being connected to source. I told y'all we just type like that. So let's take over the world, take over the pharmaceutical. That's the main thing I was thinking about is taking over the pharmaceutical. Look, prosperity, abundance, your well-being, because the pharmaceutical company is trying to take over your everything. What was, oh, yeah. The grave takes your body, the hospital takes your soul, and what was the other one? And the media controls your mind. Oh, no. Uh, what was it? Christianity or like the media? You know, that sort of stuff controls your mind. Just the media controlled altogether. Just the shit that you're watching. Yep. Look. The stuff they call witchcraft is on is the only way. Out of this dimension. Uncovering occultic strongholds. Thank you divine. I am grateful for waking up. Aaliyah. Something about Aaliyah also. Let's see 
see what else. I've been getting some good stuff, y'all. Let me tell you. And I have been so ready to just come back and share it. Um, I have also been seeing 414. So if you guys have been sick, look at that. Spiritual growth at the bottom of the deck. So resolving issues, support. Pray for protection for world peace. World peace, world peace. Ooh, let me hurry up. Look, weekend vibes. Save the planet. The law of rhythm. Anything that doesn't grow is dead. Dance. Peace. Be at peace. Move. Move your body. Do the different yoga, you know, phases. If you guys are into yoga, do the the different yoga Pilates exercises. Listen to meditation music while you're lighting the candle and you're sitting there. That is like also a way to help you guys get into meditation mode. So this means I have to go and make some candles tonight. Look, using resources. Coyote. Coyote's howl at the moon. Right? Changing personalities of the world. Follow what calls your heart. If you're thinking of doing a whole ritual or a whole setup that you may have found online, then please definitely do that. As long as whatever it is that you're doing, just make sure that it is. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> the destroyers. Look, the goddess of war, Shemek. Destroyer of the enemies of the sun god. Intelligent, positive. So think positive about this. And then look, listen to your heart. Trust your instincts. Start meditating. Oh, thank you, Spirit. <sighs> See life from a different perspective. It may be unusual for some. It may be unusual. It may be weird. But look, the pain of staying the same is going to trigger us to look for answers. We have to stop this at some point. We have to stop this in order for a new beginning and for our other people to wake up. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you. Look, a affirmation. Yes, I have world peace for the highest good of humanity. <laughs> I don't chase. I attract what is for the highest good of earth. I don't know, you guys. Come up with whatever your own affirmations are. I'm just trying to think off top. Yeah, look, invite peace. And then look, horse, that's the political base. Capricorn. That's Capricorn represents the devil. God, Jesus, that's that's when his, his time is, his, his birthday. That's what they say, so... That's who that is. That's what that represents. Capricorn and Tyrell represents the devil. Don't believe me? Look it up. Anyways, Lower Egypt. Um, Political base. So like I said, those people that are in charge of everything. There's April 20th right there. Intuition. So vision, touching, hearing, feeling, knowing, smelling, and tasting. Hell, some of you guys may have these abilities and you may not even understand it, but those thoughts that are coming to your head, you have those for a reason. If it's negative thoughts, then you need to bury that shit. Look, freedom for the chosen ones. You're accept you guys are accepted by the higher source. Revelations 
I said I had been seeing 414. Okay, that makes sense now. Revelation 14, 1 and 4. Accepted by the highest source, by the universe, by God. I'm guessing this is Revelation 7 and 3. Put the seal on the forehead of the chosen ones. If for those biblical people, you know, this is definitely something for you. Read those scriptures as you're lighting your candle. 7 and 15, nothing will ever happen to you because, again, you are divinely protected. You guys are going to be free. There's going to be happiness and good fortune here once again. Look, new and sensitive healers, new age peace, consciousness. New energy. My indigo tribe. I love you guys. I love you. Look. Public standing. And then we have Venus. Just like I said. Beauty. Love. Art. Pleasure. People may be flirty or really social with you. Libra once again. Taurus. So this is. Look, take action in life. The losses, the wrongdoing, the mess that these people are getting away with.